What's up, maniacs? Back in the garage today, Jim, Ryan, myself, and our guest Don today, coming to give us a give us a hand as we install a brake booster and master cylinder and some lines. Hopefully, this goes better than the day has started. We found uh, a lot of water sitting out in a boat after all these monsoons, and it's been a rough start this morning. But we're gonna get there. Power through it, right? Yep. So, a little backstory: Don was actually at the factory when this car was built. Oh, no, no kidding. Just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <that. laughs> you had me going for a second. Yeah, all right, let's get Follow going. along. So what you got there, Jim? Okay, we're going to unpack the master cylinder and brake booster today for the 62 Mercury. Here we go. Oh, look at that bad boy. Shiny. Yep, shiny new parts for an old car. Alright, here we go. There's the master cylinder, various lines. I hope there's some instructions with this. I'm not too, I'm not too confident. I wouldn't count on it. Very shiny. Very shiny, huh? I am not a fan of gold at all. <laughs> but... We have some spray paint around. We can hit her up quick before we install it. Yeah, I am a fan of the price. Yeah. <laughs> Price was right. All right, so let's get going on this. So it's got the kick home with a steel braid of line to replace this one that's a factory cut off by us right here. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll get that installed today. I don't think you're ever gonna see it, but we know it's there. We know it's there. Yeah, it's cool. What? This bracket goes, it's the, it's the adapter from this to the firewall. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> That's all right. All right. All right. All right. We're making headway. Uh oh. Good job, Jim. Woo! Back at her after all. So what he's saying is this guy. This makes sense. We've we gonna get spaced all out. This. We're gonna need those T bolts and stuff back in there after all, huh? That's all right. That's just hardware. It's, it's not too hard to get to. No. <laughs> that is now, though. <laughs> What's all the racket going on back here? I'm trying to get these drums off. Do they make drums anymore? <laughs> hey, you got it. You got it. What's that underneath the car? Uh, well, that's a Tyler. Inside the drums, we'll get some of the hardware. <laughs> Yeah, and we had some more help show up for today, for a little while anyways, so. Awesome, yeah, so why are we pulling the drums off? Now we're inspecting the shoes, which we see there in the, the wheel cylinder. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we got a leak in the... Yeah, probably need some new cylinders on the back of this Cylinders guy. and yeah. shoes. And cylinders and some shoes, yeah. So look at this. Yeah. That looks like a mess, but... It, we... And it is. <laughs> it's a mess. But we think we finally figured it out. Using a couple different instructions and some pictures of the parts you can purchase, uh, we think we've got an idea how this is gonna go on there. So here we are. All right, so we're ready to throw the uh, brake booster on the firewall here. How many times did we take that apart and put it back together? It doesn't look that very, that difficult, but. It was at least 10 times. The Chinaman got us. <laughs> It was at least 10 times. We so, had a rod upside down, we had a pin wrong, and yeah. it's finally back together. So, and, and originally we thought this piece went in the car, so that kicked our butts. Yeah. We didn't understand how the whole thing went together, so. Thankful to you for finding a picture on the website that yeah. showed what we were looking at since none of the instructions three, three did. Brains. Yeah, and so look, here, here was the, one of the big kickers, right? So this whole thing's kind of lined up. This, this bottom hole here, and this shaft comes straight up between those holes. And that's how the hole in the firewall is, right? Mm -hmm. We've got our bottom holes and then the big center hole is right between them. So that was taking it apart and putting a few times just to get it right and getting the vacuum. Uh, the vacuum booster line is on the top now where we want it. And uh, not the side or not down. Not the side or down. The brake booster can actually, or the master cylinder can actually mount to it and sit, sit right side up. All right, let's put her in.
Okay, so what we have here is we got the firewall underneath the steering, above the steering column. And we have this bracket that is supposed to mount to the firewall. So uh, transfer your brake lever pedal pressure to the new booster. And we're just, we're surprised that this whole bracket needs to be removed, but it's looking more and more like that's the case. It's really only two more bolts here and then a one Maybe up a there yeah. is all I see. But it also looks like that supports our steering column, which is what concerns me a little bit. Yeah. So we're going to keep playing with this and see if we can figure it out. There it is. It is installed. Jim finally pressed on the, on the brake pedal hard enough to <laughs> compress it. <laughs> and it does work. So we are excited about this. He's coming through the firewall, connected to our booster here, to our brake pedal, and it's working. Now on to figuring out the master cylinder and the proportioning valve. Time to do some bench bleeding, boys. Mm. Have you ever bench bled a uh, master cylinder before, Jim? Negative. Me either. How about you, Don? No. no. I, I guess it's time to learn. Let's put the sucker in and throw some fluid in and start pumping. Yeah. Instructions. That's the one thing the instructions actually do tell you is what? how to bench bleed. Oh, really? Yeah. So, what's up with this? Yeah, so that bracket. Mm -hmm. I know what it's for, but where does it go? It mounts to the brake booster between the booster and the master cylinder. Does it? And then the proportioning valve mounts to the bottom of it. So this sits in here. Does it? And that sits on there. And we might have to make sure that we've got the, the proportioning valve mounted to the bottom of it. I don't know if we have access to the bolts underneath there That's or not. Weird. But yeah, I've never seen it like that either. But again, one of the couple things the instructions does actually tell us. You gotta go by what it says, right? Because it doesn't say much. It doesn't say much, so let's follow what it does say. It's a good thing there's no more parts left or we'd be into the into the horns over here. The thing increased in length by like a foot and a half. So we're getting the proportioning valve installed on the bottom of the of the master cylinder here. Once that proportioning valve is installed, we're gonna tighten up some lines. So we put those two in. We still gotta find some need, instructions. Uh, I don't know what we do with these guys. There's just need, uh, rubber plugs in there. Flare. And there is fluid in there. So I don't know what we do to plug those guys. It only came with the uh, two lines to hook to the proportioning valve. We're kind of learning as we go and reading instructions as we go, so we'll have to see what it says. Important things on these flare nozzles is, you know, not to send it home. Kind of like, you guys gotta feel it. Yeah. <laughs> no Teflon tape either. No Yo. Teflon tape. That's gonna, that's a surefire way yeah, to have a Yeah, Teflon is for air. And the little white button there by his gloves, that's for the sensor. So we'll have to do some rewiring. It did come with a new <laughs> connector that goes on that sensor, so that's good. That is a bright, shiny thing right there, Jim. What do you think about all that, all those raw, brass, bronze, gold-looking parts? I couldn't say I hated it any more than I really do. <laughs> zinc plating, I, that's probably what it is, zinc plating. I'm sure it'll be a different color by the time the engine gets back in there. All right. All What's right. next on the destruction? Let's go check them out. What we got going on here, Jim? So, we're trying to get this brake line broke. And, well, not broke. <laughs> you know what? Maybe maybe we're running new ones anyways. We're not running new lines anyways. Are we? So, if I do yeah. break it? Yeah, so just for an update, we, uh, we decided not to bleed the master cylinder since we don't have the brake lines to run from the proportioning valve to the wheels yet. <laughs> We're going to install these uh, steel braided lines that go from the, the frame mount up there down to our caliper. And then uh, we're gonna have to wait and do the, the hard lines to these another day. Yes. And then we will do the bleeding. Nice stainless steel braided lines. Nice, Jim, nice. What are we moving on to now? Steering cylinder. Steering cylinder, more, more lines. I got your boot clamping tool? I don't know. I was just going to ask you if John has one of those. I know I've got one at the house. Actually, looking at that, it looks like it's damaged. Shouldn't that be more abrupt yeah. like that yeah. one? Yeah. You could yeah. take a set of side cutters and squeeze oh. that right too. Oh, 
Uh huh. Secrets from the factory. <laughs> That's the way you put them on the factory? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, Jim. Another hmm. Another, uh, I don't think we're going to work past this one today either. No, it's just... So we're looking, and not only are we a little long, right? The other one stops there, this one stops here. But uh, the mounting is different. The original one has a hole with some rubber bushings. Mm -hmm. This one has a stud, like a tie rod end on it, tapered mm -hmm. stud. So the tapered stud doesn't fit in the steering cross member like it's supposed to. So I think we're striking out there for today too. So now we've got a tranny seal to put in and I think we can call it a day. So Jim's scared this time. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm giving it a shot. All right, should still be clean from the last two seals we pulled out. Well, it doesn't want to start very straight though, does it? Yeah, in a second. You just gotta send it. You just gotta <laughs> send it. <laughs> and this is why we're doing it again. Hmm, 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 there it goes. It sounded good. Oh boy. That sounded kind of solid, didn't it? I think that's it. Oh, this is how I messed it up. It is how you messed it up. But I'm going to be a little more gentle. Yeah, I did. I did. I'm going to try to use the whole side of the board across the hole. I did kind of just give it a good whack. That's in there. I'm confident. Confident. All right. You know. So hopefully it doesn't leak when we put it back together. <laughs> Thanks for watching today. Hopefully you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully we had some decent content to be able to share since I had to film all this one with our phone. John's off uh, hanging out on a beach, enjoying himself with his family. So that's nice. I was gone for the last one. So it's his turn. No, we made some progress today. Ran into some walls today. A few things we got to overcome, we'll get there. Hopefully Summit will take a part back and <laughs> hopefully we can get the right one. Uh, got a brake drum we couldn't get off, but uh, overall we ended up getting most of what we wanted done. Got to get some hard lines and some flaring tools so we can mm -hmm. run some brake lines next. Yeah. And uh, some rear drum kits, pads, and get yeah. all that. Get the rear drum rebuilt, that'll be good. Yep. So uh, tune back in next time and uh, Maybe you'll see us putting this thing back together some more. Thanks for watching.